It's a $37 million facility. It was built in Indiana. It was modeled off of a uh, modern um, facility in Michigan. Um, it originally was designed in the States and brought down here in sections, so we put it together like one big Lego piece. Then people started noticing on the backs of uh, flatback rail cars these little one and two person mobile concrete jail cells. And those indeed have been manufactured by the tens of thousands and purchased uh, by the federal government and local governments. And they've been uh, stockpiling uh, on county, city, state, and federal land uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds uh, per site of these little mobile concrete uh, jail cells. Uh, so there certainly is a buildup uh, of that type of uh, equipment. Several years ago, the military issued a challenge to create a faster and better razor tape. They wanted a barrier that would be at least 50 inches taller than the standard fence and one that could be deployed faster than 30 man hours. Ulster County based Cobra Systems is getting ready to ship the first batch of its express razor wire to the U.S. military. The system allows soldiers to lay hundreds of yards of wire from the back of a vehicle in just a few moments. This is more of an action of a country that has gone absolutely berserk that they feel that they would have to jail their own citizens that the government would fear its own people so much that they would be talking about detaining people or incarcerating them or vetting them or investigating them or whatever uh, this whole thing has been turned on its head so anytime that you can demonstrate the power of government and you want to condition people into a way of thinking or to intimidate them or make them fearful, uh, do actions that are going to put the fear of government and authority in people's hearts, strike that chord and make them shut up. Just when people in this country should be doing exactly the opposite because I don't even recognize this country anymore. Attention, attention, attention. American forces are here to help. Military Occupational Specialty Internment Resettlement Specialist. This MOS plays an integral role in providing a uniform system of handling prisoners and detainees. Trained as internment resettlement specialists to control and supervise detainees to ensure their humane treatment. For this job, the Army will train you to use specialized equipment to monitor activity, to conduct searches, and to inspect areas where prisoners work and live. Here, you'll train to in-process prisoners and detainees and to brief them on their rights. After your initial entry training and advanced individual training, you'll work long hours, day or night, in a garrison or field environment where you may practice emergency procedures, detect and confiscate contraband, and escort prisoners outside the facility. Military Occupational Specialty Internment Resettlement Specialist.